Nimoy. Okay, so I have this home now. This uh, was not cheap. It was about 19 bucks for this pint. However, it's very concentrated. So that, that will be, in the end, very cost effective. Using that at two tablespoons per gallon. Got, I don't know, I don't know, do the math real quick. You're gonna get a lot of gallons out of that pint. Um, and this is a good uh, organic approach, I would think. This is concentrated neem oil. Um, and, it, you know, better than eating that Monsanto poison. And, you know, that's, that's terrible stuff. Um, you kill a lot of bees with that stuff. You can, you can still kill bees if you spray them directly with this. So don't spray when there's activity on your plants and trees when the bees are active. Um, but it, it, won't, it won't kill them if you don't spray it on them. Also, uh, being a highly concentrated neem oil, this in this form is going to be toxic to you. So don't get it on your person. Don't get it in your eyes or your mouth. Uh, in fact, I feel a little residue coming off of this bottle here. So I just, I'll just wash my hands. I don't, however, think that it would be toxic in its diluted form. I use uh, neem oil and, and cosmetics and soap and I even have toothpaste that has neem oil in it so it's not generally toxic but in again in this concentration it is said to be toxic to humans so use caution in you know as far as having the concentrate on your skin or maybe even breathing too much of the uh, mist from when you're spraying okay so yeah, and as you can see, it's a fungicide, insecticide, and miticide. Um, so that is what I need. Let's go spray some plants and look around on the, on the farm. Okay, so that we don't have harmful chemicals in order to be more organic, we've got, I've sprayed some neem oil on, uh, on these plants. Uh, I actually bought this pineapple at the store. Isn't that beautiful? Little plant, it's growing up now. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I've got the neem oil on my little uh, seedlings, tomatoes. And let's go put some uh, on the fruit trees. This is how Mama is greeted. I don't know. I don't know why. We're all excited to see Mama. Hi, Mama. <laughs> no, no. No jumping. I'm out here uh, in my uh, garden. And I've got a, uh, looks like a thresher, I think they call it. Beautiful bird. Looks like she is protecting a nest. What you got in there, huh? Lucky for you, I am not a real predator. She'll come at me pretty aggressively. Let me see if I can see some babies. Without getting my eyes put out. Just some more babies. Oh, just, yep. She's hatching them out now. Little, little fuzzies. And I, uh, I'm amazed that my cat hasn't 
created this nest, and that's really good. Oh, there's Papa too. Mama and Papa. Yep, cats can't stop themselves, so that's that's very fortunate that they'll be able to uh, survive. All right, so here is one of my beautiful Japanese maples. Love this tree. It just so rich and lovely. And I'm going to spray it right now with the neem oil. And uh, really, it's really I don't. It, it's right now. It is uh, the first week of May, and I don't typically see the Japanese beetles in this in this area till uh, I believe around the first week of June. But I'm going to go ahead and treat these trees anyway. Oh, my son is jogging. Give it a real good spray and then I'll come back and do it again. If not sooner, I'll do it by the first week of June. And otherwise the beetles will just just tear it up. Mostly Japanese beetles. Yeah. Alright. Hey, I own this house. <laughs> it's okay, guard dog. You're a good guard dog. Yeah. I'm gonna spray this fig. I like to get the undersides of the leaves and then I just drench them on the top. I don't have too much problem with my figs, except uh, I'll come back when I have fruit because the wasps eat the figs. They love the sweetness of the figs. And I get beautiful, beautiful fruit off of this tree. Hopefully I will. I don't know, we had, we had a late freeze, so we might not. We might not see any figs. I don't know. Hey, Bobby. And this tortured looking beauty here is my flying dragon tree. And it produces these uh, citrus-like fruits, these small green fruits. They look like little limes, which I have said before. I, uh, I'll take those. Let me give this a good spray. I take those and I muddle them into... Uh, what is it I do? Uh, vodka. I'll try that out. It's pretty nice. All right, get you all protected. Flying dragon. It's about seven or eight feet. They typically grow to about six, I think six to eight feet. This is an older tree. We've got some bugs on here, so we'll get them taken care of. The uh, peach tree, we just sprayed this really well too. Peach trees are a beautiful fruit tree. Why are you barking at Mama? <laughs> he was a bad dog today. What'd he do? He tore up uh, some stuff here and made a mess. Oh. Bad dog. You know you're a bad dog, right, Poe? Poe, talking to you. Come here and get your, come get your whooping. What? 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 Beautiful uh, potatoes, new potatoes. They're bursting up out of the ground here, aren't they? It's going to be time to dig these up soon. Yeah, I just put little, little cuttings of potatoes in here. And this is what grows, people. <coughs> you have some... Old uh, potatoes that you didn't eat and you have eyes on them, just cut them up and stick them in the soil. Beautiful. 